Hey guys, um, so day nine on the GAPS diet. It's going faster than I would have expected, I think. Um, don't have too much to report today. I made another soup um, and it's really yummy. My yogurt turned out really well. I'm really, really happy with that and just like more comfortable now that I have a yogurt maker. Um, Cause like I showed you guys before, I just have um, like a propane stove. It doesn't have a light inside, it's super old. Um, and so I, I, yeah, it's hard for me to do it like they describe online with just like heat it up and then wrap it in towels and leave it where the light is on. Um, yeah, so I'm stoked that that turned out really well couple things about symptoms. I feel like my head achiness has cleared up and my body aches have cleared up. Um, I've been really energized in the mornings, but at like, I'm going to say probably like 1 or 1.30 the last couple days, I just crash. Like, like today it was almost like a wall. Like I was up in my kitchen doing stuff and then all of a sudden I just felt this like wave of fatigue and was super tired. Um, yesterday I actually took a nap and I did kind of like mention that on um, yesterday's post. Just, um, but I was sort of thinking maybe that that was still from night shifts, but then it happened again today and it was really, really distinct today. And so I'm not sure what's happening there. I'm not sure if it's maybe I'm not eating enough in the mornings and so I'm not actually fueling myself or if something else is going on. Um, I don't know how to tell. And again, I'm still struggling with knowing if I should move on. Like this morning, I was like, yeah, I should move on to stage two. I'm ready. And I do sort of still feel like I'm ready. Like I feel like I've gotten everything I can out of stage one. I'm like full blown adding probiotics, lots of probiotics to every soup, every broth. Um, I'm using the kefir, um, the dairy, like fermented dairy products, and they've been fine for me. Um, despite having like what I would describe as inconsistent types of bowel movements, I am having a bowel movement every day. So I don't feel like I'm like getting extreme constipation or anything like that. Um, and they're not even like everything's fine. They're not like super, super hard or watery or anything like that. They're just like different consistency every time. <laughs> Sorry if that's too much information. I feel like that's what it's about though when you're healing your gut. Like you got to be okay with talking about poop, right? And I'm a nurse, guys. Like that I literally meet people and ask about their poops within the first two minutes. Like, hey, let me undress you. How are your poops? So that's just <laughs> the reality of um, probably following along my YouTube. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, I felt like I was getting like a pimple today, which I'm, I just, again, sorry if this is too much information. I just finished my period. And so it's not unusual for me to get a pimple like sometime around now. And I could feel it coming on and then it just like totally went away. So that's, I'm stoked on that. Yeah, at first I was like, oh no, am I, is this like more detox? Am I going to get like a breakout? Um, or, but it stopped. So I feel like part of my body was trying to give me a breakout and maybe this diet stopped. So that's great and exciting. Um, yeah, I woke up with super like robust energy this morning. I mean, I always have mellow mornings on my days off. That's just who I am. I'm not a morning person. I've always been great at night shifts. I know I whine about night shifts because I'm getting older and they're starting to affect me. But I was a waitress for 12 years and um, now a nurse and like, you know, I can sleep in. I'm pretty good with nights. Like being awake late is fine for me. Um, but yeah, I've been waking up and feeling like getting all, I've been getting any of dishes left in the sink done, cleaning everything, getting um, like any laundry done, folded and put away, like just stuff that I was struggling with before to be motivated to do has been um, great in the morning times. But like I said, I hit that wall this afternoon. I still, I went to my mom's, I got some veggies from her and um, 
we bought we just my family we <laughs> I have a really big family that all most of them live on this island and so I, I'm constantly doing stuff with them but basically we buy like bulk from the local farms and then split it so I was, we are sharing onions um and uh, went through some, some stuff at her place and then went for another nice long walk I've been they've been getting a little bit longer every day um and even though it's not nice weather out it's been windy and rainy um I still went and so I feel like that's a good sign that like some of my depression symptoms are at least easing up for now. I, I'm hesitant to be like too excited about that because basically any time that I have made a lifestyle change or a f particularly a food change, um, like my depression gets way better for a short while and that might be because I'm like feeling motivated and energized um, but I, I, I feel like it was hard for me to start this time I was like really didn't want to <laughs> um, but I just knew that I needed to and that I was always gonna have excuses not to and so I'm really happy that I haven't really um, slipped back into that feeling that I've just been feeling better and better and a bit more and more energy. Oh, King Mo is joining me. <laughs> Hi, bud. Um, come here. So yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good about stuff. I still have another couple days off. Um, I'm going to have to do some more food prep. Um, and I'm, I'm, humming and hawing about possibly moving on to stage two tomorrow and so I think what I might do because I need to go to some education at work tomorrow um, during the day so I think maybe for my nighttime dinner when I can be at home and it'll be easier to deal with is I might add my first egg yolk to my soup tomorrow at dinner and just see how that feels like how it sits overnight and then I'll know whether it's okay for me to add another one in the morning um or whether I should hold off I've never had a problem with eggs I'm not worried that it's going to be a problem but you just never know like, who knows what I have actually been reacting to. And when I was a kid, I was really picky about eggs. And I still don't love egg whites. So, um, maybe, maybe I will react to it. Hopefully not. Um, I will keep you guys posted about that. And, um, yeah. I think that that's it for now. Again, if you are doing the GAPS diet and want to follow along, like and subscribe. Please leave any comments. Um, if I am making mistakes or doing something wrong, like, please comment and tell me. I'm really just doing my best to follow the um, Gut and Psychology Syndrome book by Natasha Campbell McBride. Um, and, like, to a T. And I have now found, found some... Uh, Facebook page and some Instagram accounts that I've started following and they've started pointing me in some directions about um, other online resources I can find which are awesome but at the same time I find sometimes have a little bit of contradicting information and so I've been feeling like a teensy bit overwhelmed with some of that but I'm just plugging along if anything it seems like the golden rule is like pay attention and if you're reacting to it then cut it out um, and so far I just feel like I'm like keep heading in a feeling better and better direction so all of that is good news um, I'll just walk you through this soup that I made and call it a night hope everyone out there is doing well local pasture raised beef cooked into a meat stock and shredded. Um, Roma tomatoes from my garden, previously frozen whole and just dropped in so that they disintegrate. Um, zucchini from my mom's garden. Beet, those I just bought organically from the store. Carrots uh, and broccoli from a local garden here on the island. And two onions from my garden, as well as garlic from my garden. <laughs> 